In this 2 Minute Tuesday, I'll show you a few tips and tricks so you can become more proficient at XMind. XMind is a mind mapping application. If you want to learn more about it, check my previous video, link in card in the description. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly BIM productivity videos. Let's get to work. First off, to get started with XMind, head over to xmind.com or just Google XMind and hit download. I'll put a link in the description and you can download it for your desktop, but also you have access to the mobile apps for both Android and iOS. Go ahead and download the desktop version. To create a new topic, click on an existing block and click on topic. And then from here, if you hit topic again, it will create another block on the same level. Now, this is the current one. If I hit subtopic, it will create as many subtopics as you need. Now, if you use keyboard shortcuts, this is even quicker. You select the current topic, you hit enter, and that's the main topic, and you can select it again. Now that the main topic two is highlighted, I can hit tab, and that's how I go to the following level. Now from here, I can uh, select that, the other topic, and I can create as many subtopics as I need to. Now I can select any topic and move it either to other blocks or at a different levels. You can also detach individual blocks and create new structures. Now from here, say you want to replicate this, you can simply right click on that whole structure and hit duplicate. Now to change the look of individual blocks, you can select the actual block and go to format, style, and this is where you can change the color of the text, the font, and you can change uh, the geometry and the aspect of the branch. Now you also have the ability to change the entire theme. So if you go to format and map, you have access to all these different themes. Now you can also change the structure to any of these sections by selecting the main branch format. And you can change the structure from here to say to a more hierarchy based structure or a timeline based. Now let's look at some presentation tools. You see that at this point, the graph is probably a bit too overwhelming for your audience. So what you can do is collapse these and start the conversation at this level and then talk about these two topics first. And then you can expand and talk about these gradually. Now here's a trick I use in presentations or video tutorials. I create my graph the way it needs to be and then I save a copy of this so I have the full graph. Undo until I have the two main topics. And then the whole presentation can follow the order backwards by using Control Y, which is redo. And you can talk as your graph unfolds. Now, let me know if you have any questions or tips and tricks on how to plan and brainstorm ideas. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.